Hello everybody, welcome back to the Star Wars Land Report from Galaxy's Edge atop the Mickey and Friends parking structure. And if the audio quality of this audio sounds different than you're used to, of course it's because we're doing this in post. We're trying out a new format where I'm going to be, you know, instead of doing live commentary, because it's getting pretty difficult to do that these days, uh, I'm going to be, instead I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film what I can see, then sort of do some before and after stuff, uh, and then provide our commentary after the fact. And we'll start here with, with the uh, with the back side of the Battlescape building, and then here's the here's how it looked last week. And obviously, <laughs> the same rules still apply. And you can't really tell a whole lot of what's going on. But I mean, they haven't even boarded up any new sections along the you know along that building or covered up anything more. So it's about where it was. And then we'll blend back to this week, and then uh, continue our pan to the right for so this far far right portion or western portion of the land um, as we as we pan to the right here and just sort of take in what we can see. Again, there's not a whole lot going on here. Th this area has been in standstill for, for quite a while now. Uh, but there is, as we slide to the right, a new development that is really quite curious. And uh, I've learned a little bit uh, about what's happening over here. Remember last week, I, I wondered if this area where you see the uh, areas boarded up there if that was Q and yeah it is Q or at least I think it is it it we're not sure exactly yet but it's hard to which we have to recall is that this whole section is going to be covered underneath a mountain uh, well a mountain uh trees and dirt and it, it's kind of hard to get our memories or our or I mean, I'm sorry our imagination to wrap our heads around at least for me anyway uh from this angle from the back side so one of the things that I think it might benefit us is to look back at the model and try to locate this section on the model. Now, unfortunately, here's this is the model. Unfortunately, there's not a, a not a lot of good photos of this area because it's not the sexiest <laughs> portion. It's the far left side as you look at the model, uh, and it's just trees and rock and mountain. So there's not a lot to see for for the, for the photographers or videographers to capture, but. If we do focus our attention on that lower left section, uh, you can see what look to be a couple tunnels. And those are, as best as I can tell, or as best as I've learned, those are the entrances into the Star Wars or the Battle Escape queue. And what we're seeing uh, in that section being constructed now are like tunnels. Those, those are tunnels that we're, we're walking into. And so all of it will be underground, which, well, I, underground from the perspective of being inside this mountain, we're going to be underground there. It's actually being built above ground, obviously, as we can see. But um, as you enter that area, you're going to go from an open area, you know, with a bunch of trees and possibly some water effects, etc., into an underground queue with, I would imagine, um, some theming elements, kind of like Pandora, uh, you know, Flight of Passage, that kind of thing, where we're going to see, hopefully, you know, some well-themed queues. And then we'll come back out and uh, get another look. We're going to zoom in to that area. And it, it, this is that's what I mean. Like we're back out here again, and it's just so difficult to to allow myself to you know picture this. But I mean that that is, as I understand it, going to be interior queue. Now, what I don't, what I'm not sure if we if we if we pause here for a second, and, and well, first of all, I want to know what are those what are those things that are being built on the wall? They look like you know signs of some course, but but that but they're not obviously. But what are they? Is that going to be you know, you know, cue elements, perhaps thematic elements. I'm not sure, but let's. What I want to, what I want to focus on is if we. I, I didn't zoom in with the camera, but we can uh, in post here. We can zoom in a little bit. And what I want to look at is the the flooring. Now, is that is that track of some kind? Well, and I, I asked that in the sense that it doesn't look like typical. Uh, you know, I, I guess advanced work for what is just going to be a concrete or other kind of flooring. It looks to me like there's more purpose design to that, that uh, it may be maybe uh, Omnimover, not Omnimover, I don't know. Are, are guests going to be conveyed through this or are they going to walk through this? Um, that's that's going to be interesting and that's nothing nothing we can learn from the from the model either, but it does seem to me like the way that it's being built, it could be uh, you know, some kind of conveyance as opposed to just concrete or other flooring for guests to walk upon. And then, you know, maybe that's why the, those other things that are on the walls that are going to be incorporated into, into that experience. 
So it's pretty fascinating. Uh, pretty fascinating. And this is this is last week, obviously. Uh, and then we'll come back into this week. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that develops. So this is, and that's the great news: is that this is something that we can actually watch for now, at least. Watch them build, as opposed to what we can't see anything inside Battlescape. We'll pan across the top of the Battlescape building just to see all the new HVAC, or I don't know if it's new, or just all the HVAC and stuff like that that's being built up here. Again, I don't expect there to be any change, and if there is change, I mean, so what? <laughs> it's kind of meaningless in terms of the guest experience. It's all just infrastructure. Uh, so we'll. we'll Take a look here at the at the peaks that are being constructed on top of the Millennium Falcon building or in front of the Millennium Falcon building, and you'll notice that uh, there's some there's three stages basically of rock work happening here. There's the stage on the right, which is actually looking more and more like concrete, actual concrete, um, and we'll probably get a closer look at that here in a little bit. Then you get the stage in the middle, which is well, the middle stage. It hasn't yet applied the next layer of, of texture. And then the stage on the far left, which they're still, they're still working on meshwork, on the back side of the meshwork. Uh, that's this week. Here's a look at last week. Which, you know, again, there's not a lot of uh, progress, observable progress anyway, but that is last week. And then we're back on this week again. Uh, and I think we're going to push in here in, in just a minute to see, you know, how far along things have come on that on that far right, the most advanced rock work to date. And you can see, yeah, that that is definitely looking more like concrete. They're they're putting in a lot of texture and a lot of you know layered effects there, which looks pretty nice. Um, panning up quickly. This this new camera, by the way, when it zoomed in, is so smooth. I'm just loving this. Uh, there, yeah, there again, you can see it's still just mesh. They haven't applied that outer coating, and on this layer, they haven't they haven't even finished the back side of the mesh, which I assume they will. They just haven't gotten to that point yet. Okay, and then we'll we got, I think we're getting another view of Millennium. This is the back side of the Millennium Falcon building, and again, kind of like the Battle Escape, we're, there's not a lot to observe you know, the, the back side of the building or on the top of it, you know, it's just uh, HVAC and stuff. But then we, we are getting another look at uh, the, the, the rock work, that the, the peaks that are being designed there. And we'll pan left, take a look at the back side of the building. That, that, those walls are near complete on the back side. And you can see there's a little open area they've left there as well for them to bring in equipment. All right, then we'll do our customary long pan from the far left of the structures to the far right, just to kind of give you an idea of the scope of the project and to see if we can't find any, uh, you know, differences here. Slow down, David. <laughs> it's hard to keep, it's hard, you know, that when, when you're zoomed in, it, it pans a lot faster than you want it to, which is weird. Those are definitely going to be stairs right there, which they, the progress on that has stalled, but I mean, big whoop stairs. Again, not, not really much of an effect on the guest experience. And then once we finish this, we'll come back out and look into this, the, you know, the Darth Vader's window. Now, as I understand it, this is uh, more or less confirmed. This is going to be just a way for them to bring in materials into the building because they're about ready to close the whole thing up. So that's all this is. There's no, uh, there's no part of that that's going to be guest experience. And then I'm gonna we're gonna wrap the Mickey and Friends view with this shot I took as we left the park on Saturday night with lights on, just because it looks cool <laughs> for no other real reason. I just thought it was neat that there was some lights on inside and we can get a pretty good look at the Super Collider back there, which is still at about the same stages as it's been uh, for a while now. And you can't really see anything in there because they haven't really developed the inside yet. All they're doing is building the shell still. 
Uh, but I thought it was neat to be able to see, you know, this uh, this area with with some light on. And then we'll come back out uh, to we're on Big Thunder Trail now, and this is we found a tiny little gap. Uh, they've pretty much closed everything up on the trail, but we did find a gap, and and we can kind of see this structure right here. This is a a, a round structure that they're developing, which we're fairly sure is this one right here. As soon as I start to pan right a little bit, yeah, you see how it starts to black out there. Yeah. But that's still we can from the concept that. model, the one right in the frame or right in the middle. We'll, we'll we'll zoom in there. Pretty sure that's it. Only question is, and I don't know it, spatially, it's hard for me to tell. Only question is, how does that relate to those those peaks that are behind it? Because it looks like they're close, um, but you know, you can't. I don't see any peaks in that model, <laughs> so I'm not sure how that is going to work out. But yeah, definitely. That is coming along. That's about all we can see. And now we'll take it to, uh, to Mark Twain to see what we can see here. Uh, interesting uh, views here. Again, uh, most notably is going to be the the continuation of all the rock work happening on the front of Battle Escape. I mean, it seems to me like almost all of it is now, at some, at, in, in some way, being covered up in rock. Which, as we uh, you know talked about before, with the model, with the Star Wars Land model, you, that, that that's that's pretty much you know these these areas here uh, in the middle of the frame in the back, the rear. That's the mountainside that the Battle Escape attraction is going to be resting under, uh, for the most part. Now this view right here, uh, remember we talked a few weeks ago about how uh, you know that that strange-looking piece of uh, you know I don't know metal and mesh and whatnot <laughs> was being brought in as just more mountainside. Um, and then here's how it looked last week or two weeks ago actually. We didn't get to ride Mark Twain last week, so this is two weeks ago. So again, not a lot of not a lot of uh, progress there either. It doesn't look. And then here you can see the, I mean, <laughs> it's a better view of the of the mountainside on the uh, far right of this of this area. And then here's how that looked two weeks ago. And then finally, a really close-up look at the uh, mesh work and rock work being developed for the mountainside. Now imagine, too, along all of this, there's going to be lots and lots of trees and other effects. Fascinating. I can never, even while I'm doing a Star Wars Land report, I can never stop, or I have to stop to look at the train and admire the train going by here. <laughs> even though this is more of a technical bit, I'm like, ooh, train, got to catch that. Let's go back in now. <laughs> 
uh, it's the 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 the, the, the childlike lover of Disneyland will never leave me, no matter what I'm doing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this new take on our uh, not whole gang experiences, and uh, thanks for watching. Fresh bacon stuff. Love you guys.